another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen and it is the first of quite a few Thanksgiving Tuesdays. What's that Michelle? Well, every Tuesday for the month of November leading up to Thanksgiving I am going to make some sort of Thanksgiving dinner dish. Thanksgiving lunch dish? However you do brunch, whatever. Whatever you do. Um, the first one I'm going to make is really simple. It's kind of a dessert um, it's crustless. You can make it ahead of time, day before, and then warm it back up. Um, so it's really simple, and it's just a couple of ingredients. I have two Honeycrisp apples, and this will do um, two to four people, depending on how much room they have left after all the other delicious food. Um, I have about two tablespoons of unsalted sliced butter, and then I have a teaspoon, it's a generous teaspoon, of ground cinnamon. And then I have some local honey that we're just gonna drizzle on top. So probably about a tablespoon or two. So the first thing I wanna do is take my apple slicer that removes the core. If you don't have one, just cut it with a knife. Remove the core. The goal is to make some equal sized slices. And of course they're not gonna be perfect because we are human. And I don't wanna bust out the mandolin slicer for this. Cause I don't want big round slices in the middle and then the little slices that would come from the end. If that makes any sense. Oof, just about got some apple juice in my eye. <laughs> All right, that is done. Before I go any further, I wanna go ahead and take my avocado oil and just spray my dish. This is just a ceramic dish, um, so they don't stick to the bottom. You can use a glass dish, you can use a disposable dish. Um, I thought this would be pretty, it's got a nice red color. So now that that part is done, I'm going to move some of these over and I just want to slice my apples smaller and try and get three since that apple um, slicer does it pretty evenly. I've got three slices and they're fairly even I think. This one's a little bigger. I just want to start layering them in my dish. My oven is preheating to 400 degrees and you just repeat this process till you're done. So my first layer is ready to go here. What I want to do is sprinkle just a little bit of my cinnamon on this first layer. And I'm going to just put it on my spoon, just put this in the middle, maybe you can see what I'm doing, and tap the side of the spoon very carefully so it just sprinkles it on there. Okay, that's done, and I'm just going to repeat this process until I've used all of my apples. Okay, my layering is done. I think this looks pretty. What I did is I just started lifting the edges and filling it around. I try really hard not to layer them on top of each other flat um, because sometimes you end up with some that get um, less circulation and then they don't get quite as cooked Then your consistency in your dish is not even. So I'm sprinkling more of the cinnamon on here. You know, if you're not a big fan of cinnamon, you could use other things. You could use a little bit of cloves, nutmeg. Um, you could use cloves and nutmeg. Get creative. All right, that part's done. I'm gonna take my butter, and I, I just took the tablespoons and just sliced them up so that I could just kind of plop them down in different spots. And the last thing I wanna do here is take my honey, and again, this is from Gallatin right down the way, from Dawn's Farm Fresh Produce. Um, it is local, it is family, it supports a local family. As you can see, I'm just drizzling it. I'm not putting a whole lot on. And just make sure you cover the edges. And by cover, I don't mean cover them. I just mean drizzle a little bit all the way out to the edges. I guess would be a more clear way to say that. So I'm gonna bake this for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna check my apples and see if they're soft enough. Um, it's gonna depend on the type of apple you use and um, how much you use. If you're doing a small dish of one apple, it's not gonna take nearly as long as it would if it was five apples. So um, play around with it with your time based on how many apples you have. Like I said, these are Honeycrisp. You can use um, Fuji apples, Ambrosia, um, anything you would use for an apple pie is an apple that you could make for this. The Honeycrisps are sweet and they stand up well to the baking. Um, so that's why I like them. I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and I'll check back in with you in about 15 minutes. My baked apples are done and they smell amazing. This is such a simple yet great dish to have. Okay, I'm just gonna take a few apples here. I don't wanna have a lot right now, but I do want you to see 
what we're looking at here without ruining the dish completely. There we go. So this is what the apples look like. They've got a little cinnamon, they're fork soft. So if you make a big dish like this, one of the things to do is to portion up your apples, however you're going to, and then the juices that are down in the bottom is made from the butter, the honey, and juices from the apples. So you wanna use that as a glaze. I'm just gonna dip mine right in there. Mm. It's so nice and light. It's not super sweet. It's not overly cinnamony, but it has a nice hint of cinnamon. That's delicious. I love simple desserts. I'm just going to eat the rest of it. <laughs> is there something you'd like to see made on the show? Please tell me what it is down below in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, would you consider sharing it with your friends and clicking that like button? It would really help me out. From my kitchen to yours, happy Thanksgiving, and let's make food from food. That's one boy puppy.